Hey guys, how you doing? My name is Robbie, and today I'm on a deserted island. And I'm gonna be trying to survive for 24 hours using nothing but life hacks from Troom Troom. Hmm. I have an idea. Lily, you have glasses. Exactly. Shine the sunbeam through the lens. Here you go. Okay, guys, so the first step to surviving in the wilderness is making a campfire. And according to Troom Troom, you can use sunglasses to start a fire. Well, it's a good thing I'm actually wearing sunglasses underneath my goggles. Oh, I don't know where I'd be without these babies. Oh my gosh, it's so bright out here. I'm putting these back on. So here are our sticks. Crush these up so they're nice and burnable. And then we get our sunglasses. I just have to get the perfect magnification so that it all focuses in one spot. Ooh. Uh, yeah, guys, I don't think that this one's gonna work. Maybe if we had regular glasses, it would work, but not with sunglasses. So I guess we're gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. We have a magnifying glass. To light a fire, you will need the magnifying glass and some branches. Direct rays of sunlight through the magnifying glass. Patience is a virtue. Look, the twigs are already smoking. Okay, so sunglasses didn't work, but luckily, I always carry a magnifying glass. I got some more flammable sticks, so I'm gonna try this. I feel like it's gonna light up really quick. You ready? It's starting to smoke, you can do it. <gasps> guys, I started a fire. <gasps> it actually works. Well guys, I guess we're gonna have to say that this one works. Oh my gosh, it's so warm. Thank God, I was freezing out here in the 100 degree weather. <laughs> The first thing we're gonna need is a shelter because it's way too hot out here. We need to find some shade. So unfortunately guys, I don't have a single tree in my backyard, but I do have these poles. So for the sake of the craft, we're gonna pretend that this is a tree. So lucky for me, me and Tori's dryer broke. So that means we've been drying our clothes outside. A yoink. And then I'm gonna simply hang this bed sheet on our tree. Don't worry guys, I am a trained professional. Put this over here. Oh, this looks like a sturdy branch. Oh yes. Pull this over a bit. Maybe hook it onto another branch over here and hook it to this other branch right over here. Oh yes, the perfect shelter. Guys, look how much shade there is. I'm protected from the sun. I don't even need this hat anymore. Okay, now to make myself a bed. So I'm pretty sure that I have some wood on the side of the house. Oh yes, this could do nicely. A boop a boop. These are gonna be perfect for our support poles. All we gotta do is get some rope and just tie the pole right up to it, see? Just like this. Just really tie it on there, see? Make it really secure. Oh yes. Now that's secure. And then we do the same with the other side. Luckily this board uh, just barely makes it. Just really get up in there and tie it down. Oh, that is secure. Now, unfortunately, I don't have another tree on the other side. And these poles are way too far away for this one to make it. So what am I gonna do instead? I got it. I'll use tires. Oh, yes, these will do perfectly. Oh, 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 oh my toe. Oh, oh. Yeah, that ought to do it. Now we just use this as support. Boom, wow. This is looking a little uneven, but you know what? It's fine. Use some rope to hold this one in place. You know, this is great, but I have nothing to lay on. It looks like I'm gonna have to find myself a base. Let's see what I can find back here. Oh yes, more tires. <gasps> These should do. Oh yes, it's perfect. I'm gonna just climb on up here. Oh, wow. This is amazing. However, it is a little bit uncomfortable. It looks like I have to find myself some bedding. Oh yes, I think this should do. Spread it around. Yeah, and uh, I definitely think I'm gonna need more. Oh yes. Okay guys, now this, this is true luxury. Look, I am so comfortable right now. And that's why I'm gonna have to say that this hack absolutely works. Eating a watermelon with a scoop? Mmm, it's easy and so delicious. So lucky for us guys, I read in a book somewhere that watermelons actually grow natively in the Nevada desert, which is where I happen to be. So somewhere in these trees, we're gonna find ourselves a watermelon. Just you watch. <gasps> this is a watermelon bush. I think we're getting close guys. Oh my gosh, there's even more. I can feel it, one's coming up. Oh, oh, <gasps> oh my gosh, it's a watermelon bush. 
fish. And this one looks like it's ready to be picked. You wanna know how to find the perfect watermelon? You just slap it. Yep, this one sounds ready. And, oh, snapped right off. I am so excited. I love watermelon. I actually made a whole video dedicated to watermelon hacks. If you guys want to watch that, you can click right here. It's a pretty good one. Toby turns into a watermelon. Just go ahead and grab our knife, and then we cut it in half. Oh my gosh, this looks beautiful. I'm gonna save this half for later. Then we grab our spoon, and apparently we just scoop it right out. Oh my gosh. It's so convenient. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. You can definitely scoop watermelon out with a spoon. And it's delicious. Eat a big round container. Take off the lid. Go over it with a marker on a piece of foil insulation. Cut it out. Prepare two circles. Put one of them at the bottom of the container and wrap the walls with a rectangular piece of insulation. Stick a circle of insulation to the lid. It's done. The thermal bag is ready. Okay guys, so I'm a little bit skeptical about this one. And the reason for that is because when I went to the store, I found this perfectly good little size cooler for $5. Pretty good price, not bad. And then I found a similarly sized bucket and this was like $6 on its own. So already you're spending more than this little cooler. And I couldn't find any insulation. So what I ended up doing was I bought a bigger cooler. It's just a little, you know, plastic cooler. But I'm gonna have to cut it out and then put it inside of this one. This cooler was $10. So already, we're spending $11 on a cooler that's about the same size as one we can get for $5. So like I said, I'm gonna have to cut all this up first and then I'm gonna glue this into this bucket. Ugh, this is such a waste. Here we go. Start off like this. I'm cutting out the liner first so that I can get to the insulation part. Take this out. Then we got our foam. Oh no. We found our foam insulation carefully. Okay. There we go. Now we just take our little bucket, place it inside here. Now we gotta cut off this extra part, put this part inside the bottom. I'm just gonna trace this part like this. Does that fit? Huh? Close enough. Now it's time to start gluing it all in. Cool, cool. Now we go ahead and do the sides. This is definitely not gonna be like the prettiest cooler you'll ever seen. Actually, I don't even know if this will work. I hope it does so I'm not just wasting this perfectly good cooler. It almost feels hypocritical for me to break open a cooler just so that I can make another cooler. Now we carefully put the foam inside. Oh, it got stuck on the way in. No! Oh my gosh. This is quite a bit more difficult than I thought. Cut out the extra. Okay. And then I'm actually gonna go ahead and put this liner back in because I don't wanna get wet. There we go. Okay, now let's try this puppy out. I think for this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put ice in both of these and then wait an hour and see which one held the ice the best. So that's what we're gonna go ahead and do. Is this even close? Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. This needs some work. <laughs> There we go. That's a that's a little better. Now it closes. Okay, yeah, let's let's test these, these guys out. Okay, now we fill these guys up with ice. Oh no, it's not. <laughs> oh, it doesn't fit. Do I have a bowl or something? Where are all the bowls? Well, I guess this giant Easter egg will just have to do. Okay, they both have the same amount of ice. This is a lot harder to do with one hand. Okay, now it's time to test these guys out. Put these guys in the hot Vegas sun. Perfect. I will see you guys in about one hour. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, it has been an hour. So here is our cheap cooler that we got for $5. Whoa, so the ice is uh, fairly melted. There's a little bit of uh, some ice melt in there. Okay, now what about this guy? Oh my gosh, wow, this looks a lot more intact, actually. Not as much ice melt. Wow, so that's how much ice melt we got in there. There's definitely Definitely a lot less, but I feel like I need to leave this a little bit longer. So right now it's about 10 o'clock, so I will see you guys, uh, I don't know, in a couple hours, and we'll see if this is melted. Okay. Okay guys, so it's been about three hours. It's now about one o'clock. Let's see how much ice is left in our regular cooler, our $5 cooler. Three, two, and ooh, what? That's all the ice we have left. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's see, what about our DIY cooler? Ooh, what? Oh my. This actually works slightly better. But is it worth it for like 10 more dollars? <laughs> Probably not. 
That is cold. Woo! Well, guys, I guess we're gonna say that this one, it, it kind of works. Now we just have to find dishes. Cut a hole in the can with a utility knife. Insert the burning branches in it. Break an egg into the gap at the bottom of the jar. Mini fried eggs made in survival conditions taste better somehow. So the first thing we need to find for this one is some eggs. I saw somewhere on TV, I think it was National Geographic, that birds tend to hang out in bushes and they lay eggs in there. So we just have to look around in the bushes for some eggs. Eggs, where are you eggs? Eggs. Ooh. Oh my gosh, guys. A perfect half dozen. Oh, it's fresh too. These were laid this morning. Then we get our Coke can that I randomly found on the floor. Thank goodness for litter bugs, am I right? Grab our pair of scissors that I always keep in my back pocket. I've cut my butt open a lot with these, but you know what? They're worth it. Especially for situations like these. Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, don't need that anymore. I don't know what the heck this is, but I found it and I'm gonna use it to start a fire. And then we try our magnifying glass. Ah, this isn't working. So I'm just gonna use my blowtorch instead. Ah oh, yes, nothing like a good old fashioned blowtorch to start a fire. Then we go ahead and crack our egg on top. Oh God, that's way too big for a chicken egg. I'm gonna put a rock to maybe help weigh it down a little bit so it doesn't fall over again. We'll try to crack another egg. Oh, it just held the yolk. All the egg whites fell off. That's not good. What the heck am I supposed to do with that? I'm just gonna pretend that the fire is on and uh, use my blowtorch. Come on, egg. Can you cook, please? Well, I wouldn't call this cooking. You can do it, fire. Guys, I'm gonna be honest, I think I'm gonna starve. This egg is not cooking. Uh, I feel like under the proper conditions it might work, but uh, it's not really working for me. You know what would be really cool? If I made a pool underneath it. Just think, my bed up here, a pool down here, it's the perfect plan. Then I'll be in paradise. I'll never want to go back inside again. <laughs> So the first thing's first, I gotta dig a hole. Guys, it turns out I can't dig in this because it's it's fake grass and I don't want to destroy my fake grass. So um, instead, we're just gonna use more tires. Oh yes. I'm so glad I got all these tires. Oh yes. This one over maybe. Oh God. Oh yes, that truly did not make me question the structural integrity of this. Oh, oh God, oh, oh God, oh no. Oh yes, the perfect base. I think this is gonna do nicely. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our tarp and just spread it all around the tires. Oh God. Oh no. Gotta put the bricks to hold this tarp down. And then we add our water. Oh yes, this craft is coming along swimmingly. You know what? My new house is way better than my old house. I don't even, I don't even need this anymore. See this? All this building? Don't even need it. This is all I need. I don't need what? a house. No, I don't even need this. This is the only thing I need in my life, okay? I got bed, I got pool, I got d <laughs> shelter. This pool looks like it's coming along swimmingly. So I'm gonna go ahead, dip my feet in. Oh, it's so cold. Oh gosh, oh that's so cold. Oh, wow, what a paradise. This is the life. Air conditioning, huh. all I need is this. This is great. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one definitely works. And it really helps if you have spare tires just laying around. I think I'm ready to fully commit. Boy, this is great. Guys, if you're new to this channel and you like this video so far, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I post videos every single Friday and they're all just as freaking weird as this one. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, guys. It's getting really, guys, it's up to my chest now. And I can't swim, I need help. You, sir, Who, me, come here, help me. I'm oh, yes, me. sir. Okay, give me one moment, I'll be right back. Hey. Hey! 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 What happened? Now, 
Okay guys, so here's our Coke can. I got this out of my trash. Then we get our knife. I always carry this knife on me, no matter what. And then we just carefully insert the knife. Oh yes! I don't think that strip was good enough. I'm trying it again. Looking good. This is so dangerous, I do not recommend this. Remember guys, I am a skilled crafter. I've been crafting for many years. You know what? It's good enough. So then we just roll this over our finger. I don't know if I like this. And then we take another one like this. And then just wrap it right around the other one like this. I mean, it looks a little bit janky, but five minute crafts has never let me down before. What other choice do I have? Oh, sir, it's you. You've come back for me. I truly appreciate it. Don't worry, sir. I have the solution. I have become a lifeguard. <gasps> Thank you so much! Oh no! Oh no! I can't swim! This thing doesn't work! No life what are you doing coming. anywhere? Well, sir, good luck with that. No, come back! Oh wait! It was so shallow I could stand the entire time! This whole thing was a waste of time! Well, guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. Boo. Oh, but there's only one problem. My teeth and my breath. That's okay. We can fix that. Here you go, Jane. And this is for you, Lily. This is how you do it. Like banana-flavored toothpaste. Oh man, this watermelon is absolutely delicious. But now, I have all this fruit stuck in my teeth. And the only way to get it out is using more fruit. So we just gotta peel our banana. I just need the peel, so. And then we just rub it on our teeth. Ugh, honestly, this is 10 times worse. I regret doing that. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one doesn't work. We have to get out of here somehow. Let's send a letter with a cry for help. This bottle is perfect. A piece of coal instead of a pencil. Close it. Now throw it in the ocean. Cool. Okay, so we grab our charcoal and then we find the random piece of paper. I happen to find a printer that this one came with out here. And then we write help. I think it might have worked. I mean, it's close enough. Then we try and shove it inside this water bottle. People are definitely not gonna think that this is trash. And, boobity boop, uh, get in there. Guys, it's not fitting. Yes, perfect. Then we put on our cap, and then we throw our bottle into the ocean. Huh, uh. I really hope someone comes soon. I'm getting really lonely. You're going to need a piece of thick plastic, a paper stencil of a mermaid tail, and water shoes. Go over the contour of the paper stencil. Cut it out. Make two identical parts. Hot glue them together. Then hot glue them onto the plastic. Now, take a piece of shiny fabric with sequins and decorate the tail. Now, new fashion accessory in the water. Okay guys, so the first things first is we need to make our outline for our tail. So it looks like what they did was they just got a piece of paper like this, and then they fold it in half, and then they just made uh, the mermaid tail shape, and then they cut it uh, to kind of be even. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. So it looks like it goes down like that, and then it comes out, and then back down, and then we do another one. There we go. Oh, can you even see that? You can't even see that. Those lines are so dim. Maybe more. I'm gonna do it more like this. Now we're gonna go ahead and cut this bad boy out. Boobity boom. Okay. Yeah, not bad for my first try. That looks like a legit mermaid tail. It looks, it looks just like theirs, actually. Okay, so we don't need these scraps anymore. And I couldn't find any just random plastic laying around, so I got these binders instead. I made sure that they were blue to kind of match the theme, what we were going for. I don't really know what the heck they used for theirs, but this is what I'm using for mine. I'm gonna rip all this extra stuff out. Oh no, it's not big enough. Enough. Oh. Okay, I think I have to make it a little smaller then. That's the only way. It's the only way. Just ever so slightly smaller. So like, let's try like, like that. We'll go down like that. Here we go. You know what? I should make these even. You know what? It's still pretty good. Does it fit now? If I do it like this maybe? Uh, nope, still needs to be smaller. Oh, maybe this time? Okay, yeah, definitely fits this time. So now, just gonna get our Sharpie and make the outline really quick. Okay, here's our outline. Now let's cut this bad boy out. There we go. 
Luckily I have two binders, so they said to double up. Okay, we got our hot glue gun. Now we wait for this bad boy to heat up. <sighs> My favorite part. Okay, glue gun's all heated up. You know what? I'm actually gonna use some gloves for this. Not burning myself today. No way. There we go. Luckily, these actually line up pretty well, so that's good. So we're just gonna go ahead and start putting this hot glue on. Push these two together before the hot glue starts to solidify. Push them together really tight. Put some hot glue on the other side. Get on there. Okay. There we go. Yeah. That looks pretty legit. So here are our shoes that we're going to be uh, gluing to this thing. They seem to be a little bit big for them, but I'm sure it'll work fine. If these look familiar, I actually made these in another video uh, a while ago. So that's why. They're also pink, so we want to match that mermaid aesthetic. I'll put hot glue down on this thing so that we can hot glue the shoes to it. I'm use a lot of hot glue because I don't want my shoes falling off. There we go. Slap these puppies on there. Yeah. And there we go. I think that these guys are all ready for us to try. I bet that these are gonna make me swim w way better. I'm gonna be a real life mermaid. Now let's try this. Uh, guys, I really need to invest in a bigger pool. Okay. Ugh. Oh my gosh. How the heck do I get in the pool now? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Woo. It fell off. Oh, it fell off like instantly. Well, guys, I guess we can say that this one works. I take it back. This one definitely does not work. Pull the fabric between the sticks. Make three levels. Take coarse sand, some grass, and some coal. Take two glasses. Use one to get water from the river and pour it into the filter. Pour it in a thin stream so that the water can be filtered. Well, guys, it's a good thing I always carry these rags around. You never know when you're gonna need yourself some colorful rags, am I right? They use bandanas, but I think that these will work a lot better. Then we get our sticks, and somehow they stuck these into the ground like this, and then they somehow tied the rags to the sticks. I think I think they had string, but I don't have string. I really should have been more prepared, you know, being stranded on the deserted island. Let's see, is there any string I can use around here? Oh, wait, we have trash. Oh, we got an alcohol bottle. Oh, here we go, spider web. So I saw this once in a documentary where you just take spider web on the tree bark and then you just kind of twist it together and then you slowly make string. Whoa, it's working. We have string. I think it's gonna take a few hours to make enough string, but it'll be worth it. So after hours of work, we now have our string. This should make it a lot easier. Yeah, that turned out pretty good. Now I need to find some leaves, some rocks, and some charcoal. Grab us some leaves. Oh yes, this will make my water really fresh. Grab some rocks. Actually, I think these might be a little bit too big. These rocks should do just fine. These little tiny guys. Oh, yes, get in there. And then we grab some charcoal. These are actual charcoal guys. I guess someone must have left them here. This island's not really that deserted, is it? Just plop those in there. Boop. So we got our leaves, rocks, and charcoal. Get some water from the lake. Oh, nature, I love being alone. We got our water, come back to this contraption, and then we make a container to hold the water at the bottom. Stick that right underneath there. Yes. Oh, this is gonna be the freshest water I've ever tasted. Are you guys ready? There we go. It's already starting to drip down. It's working. It's getting so purified. No, it's overflowing. Oh. Guys, that water does not look good. I don't think I actually want to drink this. This kind of looks yellower than it was before. <laughs> I'll try it again. Maybe I could beat it. Ready? It's filtering it again. Yeah, that really doesn't look any more clear. Well, guys, I guess I'm going to have to say that this one doesn't work. Well, guys, I've been locked outside my house for 17 hours now. Let's say 17 hours. I'm at 30 minutes. I've been outside for about 30 minutes. And boy, oh boy, am I starting to get hungry. I really wish I knew where to get some quality food. <gasps> oh my gosh. Do you hear that? <laughs> Uh, Toby? Oh, hey, Robbie! I have a solution to your problem! I heard there's corn in the trees! What does that even mean? <gasps> oh my gosh, Toby, you saved me! Oh my god, they look delicious. So I heard before you cook corn, you're supposed to actually chuck it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chuck it right against this wall. Huh. Oh my god! Look! It broke the corn right off! If only there was an easier solution! <laughs> 
You know what, guys? This one's so crazy, it just might work. We got our corn, we got our knife, and then we just cut it right at the base, just like that. Oh, wow. And then apparently all these leaves should just slide right off. Oh, my, what? So that's how the corn gets like that? It's all starting to make sense now. Well, time to cook this thing. And luckily, I have a hack for that one, too. Okay guys, so like I said earlier, we don't have any real trees in Nevada, so I was digging through my trash and I managed to find these chopsticks. I mean, they're a little used, but they should do the trick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shove that right in there. Oh, yes. So that's one side, and then shove it into the other. This is very dangerous. There we go. Oh yes, perfect. Now we're gonna have perfect rotations every time. Now time to throw this on the barbecue. So here's the grill. Oof. It's very dirty and very hot. We're gonna stay true to this craft, so we're gonna take these things off because we're cooking over an open fire. <laughs> Add our charcoal and our lighter fluid. Boobity boo. Mm -hmm. And last but not least, the fire. And then we just take our corn kebab and just put it right over the open flame. And there we go, perfectly cooked corn every time. Look how evenly it's cooking. Guys, I gotta say, my new home is so fantastic and I wouldn't trade it for anything. And this corn looks absolutely fantastic. And it's so delicious and sweet. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. The main downside of an island like this is that there's nothing to do. Oh. Ewald came up with a fun activity. Just need to get some pineapples and a couple of coconuts. Arrange the pineapples as pins. And now roll it at the pineapples. Yay! Oh, I've been waiting forever and I'm so bored. When is someone gonna come and rescue me? I'll try bowling. Luckily for me, pineapples and coconuts also grow natively in the Nevada desert. Ugh. And they're both conveniently grown in the same tree. Okay, first attempt. I'm gonna get a strike, watch. One, two. So close! How could you deceive me? I'll just try again. One, two. Oh, I hit another one. Take that. Okay, this is my last shot. I did it! Take that, pineapple! Oh my gosh! And there's juice coming out. <laughs> it's a little bit dirty. Oh, tropical rain. That was unexpected. Where can we hide? It's a good thing Ewald has raincoats. Big garbage bags, actually. Same difference, as long as we don't get soaking wet. Oh yes, another thing that I always carry with me. A full size trash bag. That way I can pick up any trash that I find. But we're not actually doing that today. We have to make sure we're prepared for when it rains. So we're just gonna rip our armholes really quick and our head hole. It's really important to do this before you put it on you. Otherwise, you can die. I learned that one the hard way. I literally died once, trust me. It's in my biography. Oh, mother, I'm being birthed into the world! And that's how you make yourself a trash bag poncho. Just in time, too. It feels like it's gonna rain any minute. Any day now. Any, any day. Oh my gosh, I'm so bored. Someone come and find me. I'm starting to get a little bit thirsty. I got it, I'll drink from my pool. Good thing I always carry my blue disposable cup. Okay, time for me to drink up. Oh, Guys, look how much dirt is in my water. Oh, that's disgusting. I need to find a way to filter this. Okay guys, so I got my water bottle and I managed to find this tampon in the trash. It doesn't look like it was used, so I think I'm in luck. Then we just take our craft knife and cut this part off. And then we simply flip it back into itself, just like that. And then we insert the tampon. I don't know how this is gonna work, cause it, ah! Okay, what if I make a hole in this cap? And I put the cap back on, and then we insert the tampon right in there. Oh no. Oh yes, it's perfect. Now the tampon should just filter all the water. So now we take our dirty water and just pour it right in there. And then we'll have ourselves some fresh, clean water. It's already starting to drip. Oh my god, it already looks so clear. Add some more. 
Yes, yes, there's almost enough for me to drink. I'm just gonna open this right up. I don't know if I can wait any longer. Well, bottoms up. Oh my gosh. It tastes so fresh. It doesn't taste like pool water at all. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one 100% works. Just kidding guys, if you didn't catch my sarcasm, that water does not taste fresh at all. I don't know if I'd really trust this one. So for the sake of this, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say don't do this. I don't think it, I don't think it actually works. I'm sorry. We were at a party, but we don't have anything else to wear. You can find more comfortable clothes here. Oh. Are you suggesting we take the clothes off the skeleton? Are you serious? What do you think, Monday? Is this okay? La, 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 la. Oh, God! Oh, my gosh. Free clothes! Oh. Actually, who the heck would wear this? That blue beanie and that pixel pizza shirt? Link in the description if you guys want one. Oh, oh, that's disgusting. I don't want to take a dead man's clothes. And what's this? Monster recovery? Oh, doesn't look like he recovered from that one. Well, anyway. Cut the tab on one side. Attach the picture. String the pictures on the rope and decorate the wall of the cave. Oh, I miss the bench. Sweet, sweet bench. Tori Dabransky, my sweet, sweet girlfriend. Oh, and most of all, Thomas Dabransky. <laughs> I just miss them all so much. Oh. Gosh. No. These are precious. They're precious. Precious. They're precious. Okay, so we grab our string from earlier, and then using my trusty Boy Scout knife, we're gonna cut a slit in some of these can tops, which actually feels really dangerous. That ought to do it. Then we just string them together. And theoretically, when I pick this up, we should have a perfect Polaroid string. Oh no, what fell off? Well, it's just the one of my girlfriends, so not that big of a deal. At least I have Benj and Thomas DeBransk. And then we just hang them up. Yes, they're perfect. Well guys, I guess I'm gonna have to say that this one works. I only feel half as lonely as I did before. Okay guys, well, the sun is setting and I think I'm ready to call it a day. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big old thumbs up. It looks like my best fight right down there. If you guys are new, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Turn on all notifications. I try to upload videos every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. If you guys wanna watch me try more fun camping hacks, I actually have a whole playlist that you can watch right here. And if that doesn't sound fun, I got another playlist here, here, and here. Click any of them, they're all fantastic. Hours of entertainment. Oh, you guys, love me so much. I'll see you guys again real soon. Peace, love, and Wi-Fi. Oh, we're not eating. Okay, bye. Ah!